Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can improve the graphics of your Sega Dreamcast games in RetroArch using the Flycast Core. Before I continue, please take a second to support the channel by subscribing. Here's a brief showcase of the graphical upgrade you can expect. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you've got the Flycast Core installed. So go to RetroArch's main menu, go to Online Updater, Core Downloader, and go all the way down to Sega until you get to Dreamcast Naomi Flycast. So just press enter on that to install and download it. Once that's done, just load up a Dreamcast game of your choice. When you're in the Dreamcast game, press F1 to go to the sub-menu, and then go all the way down to Options and Video. Now these are the settings I use. Now some of these settings may vary depending on which uh, computer you're using, so feel free to change these settings depending on your hardware. So I'm using an internal resolution of 2880 by 2160, so that's 4K and cable type is VGA because I think that's the best type of uh, cable available for the Dreamcast. I've got broadcast standard as NTSC to get that 60 frames a second and for alpha sorting I'm using per triangle normal. I've enabled RTT so that's render to texture buffer. I've got MIP mapping on, fog effects on, volume modifier on, anisotropic filtering is set to 4. I mean you can go to 16 but I've just got it to 4. I've got texture filtering set to default but feel free to have a play around with this. I've got delay frame swapping on, detect frame rate changes to on, power VR2 post processing filter on. I've left uh, texture upscaling to off. This is primarily designed to uh, make 2D pixel art graphics better, but I'm totally okay with the way the pixel art graphics in say a game like Marvel vs Capcom 2 look. So I'm going to leave that to off. And then go back a menu, go down to performance and make sure threaded rendering is switched to on. So once you've made all these changes, I suggest you close RetroArch and open it back up again, just to make sure all the changes have bedded in nicely. And now you can enjoy your Dreamcast games with enhanced graphics. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.